is you think you can change the country? You should look to her generation. They're taking to the streets. Protests are important, but changing the culture means nothing if the law doesn't change. Who did you say your name was? Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Felicity's lovely. She, she's just such an amazing actress, and she's one of the most dedicated actresses I've ever met. She just takes it so seriously, and she brings so much respect to this, especially to, you know, Justice Ginsburg. Um, she brings a sort of, like, resolution and sort of strength to the character, which is really nice, um, but also a gentleness as well. It's, it's great. Martin Ginsburg will be signing all of our checks someday. <laughs> You're a smart girl with you. You married a star. If the law differentiates on the basis of sex, then how will women and men ever become equals? I don't read tax court cases. Read this one. Martin was such an interesting character because he subverted all of the sort of generally accepted gender rules at the time. You know, he was a, not a stay-at-home dad, but he was the one who spent most of the time cooking and caring for the kids and doing all that stuff that was not something men of the time did. And I think that's really interesting that he sort of had the self-assuredness to just say, this is what I want to do, this is what makes me happy, I want to be with my kids, I want to cook and all that stuff. And it's just a really interesting, great character because he also happens to be one of the most preeminent tax attorneys in the in the world. So he he kind of does it all. He's like a super dad. Law assumes a caregiver has to be a woman. This is sex-based discrimination against a man. Poor guy. We need to take this case. This is not a case. This is a declaration of war. They could topple the whole damn system of discrimination. Before Ruth Bader Ginsburg and after were two very different places in terms of gender equality in America. Um, not just for women, but, you know, one of her first and biggest gender cases in terms of starting to turn the tide was protecting the rights of men who were caregivers at home who were denied a deduction by the IRS because only women need that, because only women stay at home and are caregivers. So she thought that that was a, a, a ridiculous sort of confinement on gender. Uh, and. You know, I mean, she was one of the first women to go to law school. You know, she was one of the first women to become a lawyer. She, in America, she, I mean, she was really extremely progressive and continues her legacy of, of that fight, which is great. The word woman does not appear even once in the U.S. Constitution. Nor does the word freedom, Your Honor.